I just had this weird thing happen where my Neptune 4 wouldn't reboot after a problem and I fixed it. I want to tell you what I did in case it helps you too. Anybody who's used 3D printers for a long time knows that when they're printing something, sometimes the printer just has a problem. And normally you just turn the printer off and turn it back on again and the problem goes away and you're fine to continue. This time though, I was printing something on the Neptune 4 and I sent a file up to the clipper interface to print the file and it wouldn't print the file. And then I sent it again and it wouldn't print the file. Eventually it gave me an internal server error. So an internal server error is sort of like when you go to a website and you try to get a file and it gives you that error. Basically it's saying, hey, the server, the thing that gives you that information isn't working properly. So then what I did is what I normally do, I turned it off and I turned it back on again and this time it didn't reboot properly I just kept getting the spinning wheel that said it was loaded then I took the power cord out I left it out overnight I went to go start it up again still thing was spinning again so what I did next is I unplugged it but I also pulled out the cable that plugs from the screen into the printer and I left those disconnected I plugged it back in this time I plugged back in the controller turned it on and this time it booted right up normally like there was no problem so, so I don't know if this is going to fix this every time in fact I don't know if this problem is ever going to come up again but if it does in addition to unplugging the printer also also unplug the controller and give it some time, plug it back in and see if that works. Do you have any other tips for things like this to get non-working printers back up again? If so, leave them in the comments. If you'd like to see my review of printers like the Neptune 4 and the Neptune 3, you can see that oh, I always do this over there. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can do that here or click in the subscribe button below. It really helps the channel. For Dave Tries This, I'm David Schloss. Thanks for giving this a try.